The Glass Lab's been in this current location for 10 months now. We're a brand new factory. We moved from around the corner. We'd been around there for about 10 years. Probably the most environmentally friendly surfboard factory in Australia. We're a closed door business as well too, so there's no open swinging doors with dust and fumes going outside. So everything that's fallen on the floor gets swept in and is collected in our hopper. Our hopper then punches it down into our big bins, which are all sealed in bags, and then, then they're exposed, you know, they're taken away. First thing we'll check out is where our shaping gets done. So we have an in-house Channel Island shaper, um, Thomas. He, um, he works here full time, and we then take all of his blanks into the factory and, and finish glassing. Once we've had the shapers shape the blanks and they're finished, ready to go, they come into our fin installation room. In this process, we have the holes routed in the blank for the plugs to go in. Okay, once they've been routed, we then move into the next room. This is one of our most experienced laminators, Martin Wright. It's been on the coast for forever, as you can see. <laughs> so Martin here is just prepping the first stage before the cloth comes down. Now the time frame from the resin starting to actually go off, he's got about 10 minutes. Um, in 10 minutes time, the resin will gel, and if he hasn't got the cloth down and wrapped around the rail, it will gel, and that'll be the end of this board. It's almost a throwaway. And there's a bit of a, um, a fine line between how much resin actually gets absorbed by the foam. If you leave it too long, uh, the blank will absorb more resin, making it even heavier. The squeegee itself pushes and pulls the resin into the right places, so then it's an even, coat of resin through the cloth and into the foam. After they're laminated downstairs, the actual cloth is quite rough on the surface and we need to put a filler in them so that then they can be sanded. Filler coating into leash plugging, filled with resin and a little bit of cloth, uh, then leash plug's ready to go, then it's into sanding. One of the most important processes is the sanding of a board. This is where we make them, sand them perfectly flat nice sharp edges and we can also bring the weight down a little bit on them as well too depending on how much gets sanded out of them. A team board will normally get sanded a lot heavier than what a normal stock board would actually um, be sanded as well too. Once the boards are sanded, they're finished, they're happy with them, they then come into the quality control room. We check for any imperfections. Uh, we also put it through the computer system just to make sure that it's all complete, everyone's done their jobs and signed off on them. Uh, they're wiped down, wrapped up, and then sent out.